Hello there, and my name is Sam, the Hopeful Guy from the Hopeful Guy channel. Welcome to Don't Escape 3. This one's in space. <laughs> I woke up with a terrible headache, like if someone hit my head really hard. Okay. Things were coming back to me slowly. I knew I was a pilot of the starship of the UEFS -E Horizon. But I had no idea how I wound up in here. I also had no idea what I didn't what I didn't like more. The fact that I woke up in a ship's airlock? Or the fact that the computer was counting down to something. Uh <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. It ended really fast for you. In your last moments, you cannot have re even realized that the rescue party will meet a far worse end. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> I know. Uh-oh. Oh. I don't like how quiet this is. That's me. <laughs> See, that's me. Oh, this definitely has some more, uh, don't deep sleep vibes. Mission log. We've located what is left of the derelict. Something tore it apart like a tin can. It's a bad time for me to get the hiccups. <laughs> Mission log. We've located what is left of the derelict. Something tore it apart like a tin can. We found something among the, among the debris. Remains. I think they're human remains. We also found some strange glowing crystals attached to the bones. We brought it on board for further analysis. Dr. Godberg will perform tests in the laboratory. Rick says there's another crystal floating in space. We'll have to check that later. In the corridor. Navigation is offline. Communications are offline. Warning. Life support is offline. Air will run out in one hour. Distress call activated. Warning. Possible intruder alert. That's cool. Oh. Uh. This is a lot more spooky. Uh, initial test, Dr. Amanda Grodberg. Subject is, appears to be an upper half of a human remains. All of the soft tissue is decomposed, which suggests that death occurred long before its exposure to the vacuum of space. There is a large crystal form attached to, don't, mm -mm, attached to the bones in abdominal region. The crystal itself produces a bright blue light. Despite being highly energetic, no other forms of radiation have been observed. However, it seems to be emitting subtle acoustic vibrations. Further tests are required. Don't. Hey, a vial of antibiotics. For this. Yeah. Oh no. Uh. Morning. Three of those, two of those, four of those. 
crystal dissolve formula. Three, four, two, explosive materials. Can you stop with the... Huh. Huh! He's dead. Strangled. Captain's console knows this. Uh, okay. Safety protocols. Mission orders. Your mission is to investigate the anomalous readings in the sector we have detected that may be a signature of one of our mining ships that went missing a few years ago. Move to the designated coordinates and scan the area. If any signs of the lost ship are detected, investigate and report back. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Okay. This is UEFS Warsaw. We've picked up your distress call and we've, we're have we setting our course to intercept. Be advised, we won't be able to reach you for two days. From your signal, we know that your life support system has failed. You are unable, if you are unable to make repairs, use the escape pod and await our arrival. Good luck. Oh, maybe I need to turn back the Ha ha ha! Ah, shiza. That got me good. <laughs> so I need to get to the mess hall. Oh, the lights are back on. Oh no. Why are you blinking? Hi! Sure, I'll have a pancake. Can you stop blinking? Okay, I got a pool full of blood. Okay. Ah, why did, I, why did I do that? Oh, he couldn't stare at his own reflection. I get it. Okay. Why did I get herb? Ah, crap. Okay. I have blood. I have a mixer. And I have plant stuff. Well, I have a chemical mixture. Don't know what I got, though. I'm not hungry for pancakes, though. Okay, don't do the screws with a knife. Okay. Nothing else in there. Nice. <laughs> D. 
deal with it. <laughs> okay. I have this weird feeling that I mixed the wrong chemicals. I did. Okay. Now what do I do? Hi! His name was Rick. I think. Oh. So I need to take care of the vapors. Twenty minutes. Okay, left support system has been destroyed. Activate the oh, support system. Three hours added. Hmm, data pad. 40 minutes. Sure. Wait a minute. Does that mean I can do... High density condensator, portable igniter, flux stabilizer. Huh. Huh. I have no idea what any of this does. Um. Yeah, let's just, let's just, let's leave. Why not? Oh, yeah, I bet that did. Oh. Escaped, but I fucked up. <laughs> okay, this one's going to take a lot more brain power than I'm used to. Go. Oh. Okay, this time it's good. <laughs> oh. 
OK, I know what I need to do. Data entry, don't care. I, I know what the status is. Yeah, so I know what the status is. I've been, I've been playing this for almost an hour now. Give me that. That's locked. So you need to get this mission log. Blah, blah, blah. Hi. Oh no, he's dead. Whatever. Fuck you. Thank you. I think I need some of that. 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 <laughs> I'm just screaming through the first half of this. Uh, you can open up this. Awesome. Okay, now. And we already know the story, I, I went over that. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and make that chemical real quick Well, uh, before I go in there. So I can be all ready. Save as much time as I can. Hi. Dickhead. Oh, it shows up unannounced. Clear up mouths. Okay. Status, hour. And your chemical analysis for the blue stuff. Three black, two lines, four that. I didn't give up. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I forgot to do this real quick. So if I need three, two, four, it's going to be I'm pointing at the screen. Two plus one is three for plants and blood cells. Zero, zero, two. So two of those. And then four total for the blue. So I need blood cells, plant material, and antibiotics. Just gonna chill for a minute. This is better work. Okay, Kuchunk. Grab you. Open up you. Grab the toolbox. That's all I needed. There. <laughs> I'm just streamlining through this. Lyman. 
Except this is going to take about 20 minutes, so, yep. I have, what, 20 minutes left of oxygen? 25 minutes left of oxygen. Oh, wait! I have three hours now. And this chemical should destroy everything on isolation ward. If it doesn't, I'm not going to be happy. Cool. Now. What do we got going on here? <laughs> you got a spike through your head. Uh, moment fighter remains in space. Poor lady. Explosive materials. Harmless without an igniter. Huh. What are you? I was wrong. Really wrong. The corpse didn't rot for any period of time. It's been consumed by the crystal. It's been growing inside. Burst that man and con continued to grow, using the soft tissues as building material. I think this is what happened to the crew of the destroyed ship. We might be next. As for now, I'm working on a formula for something that would dissolve the crystal, or at least weaken it so my, it may be destroyed by force. An explosive might work. The sound is getting louder. melting down but still spreading uh, I think this is going to be my next one which if I'm not mistaken I think I already have the chemicals for it because of its three four two uh, so Acid, alcohol, and detergent. I already have it. So bottle of acid, bottle of detergent, bottle of alcohol. And begin mixing. Yeah. It's not going to amplify the power of the explosive. Now I just got to figure out the rest of this goddamn mystery. And now I have a bomb. So in case I want to blow this place up to King Home, I bet I can just put it right there. But I don't have the full story yet, and I think that's what you guys want. 15 minutes. Okay, that's what I thought was going to happen. Oh! Hello! Huh. Uh-oh. How is this whole thing where I'm the guy in the spacesuit? Well, fuck, dude. You murdered him. <clears throat> they need at least an hour to uncover everything. Which is what I should have done first. How much time do I got left? Oh wait, I'll have 15 minutes left because I upgraded my thing. Because I'm smart. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm s smart. Yep. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, I'm David. Oh. 
Oh, I see. Um, well, I've already got the explosive primed up and ready to go, so. On the engine, no less. <laughs> Oh, just the corridor where this guy is working on something. Hello, David. Bonk. This goes bonk. And the last one will be in here. I can just detonate everything. No, oh, this is a very depressing day, you know? Uh oh. Blah! How do you end up there? That was what, 5631? Okay. This took way longer than I meant it to, but at least this is. Turning out to prov be. Howdy, bro. Uh oh. I went to sleep and it used me to kill everybody. Oh. Then it's to try to get rid of me in the airlock. There we are. Wait. So, I'm the mass murderer. I'm going to blow the shit out of this place, too. I already have that set up. last century. Captain's log. Audio transcript. Someone is killing the crew. Rick is dead. Jack is dead. I've locked myself up in the bridge. I'll send a stress call and... Captain? Oh my god, Lieutenant. Is that... you? Yes. Please let me in. I've locked the killer in the bunk room. Hang on. I'll open the door for you. There's more... Safety protocols. Deactivate. Self destruct. And. That's how it's supposed to end. Ship's containment level. Something on board the horizon killed everyone and tried to kill you. It had to be stopped. Dr. Grodberg's come across if it worked as intended, weakening the crystal and making it vulnerable. Cool. You tried to destroy it with a bomb by blowing up the whole ship, just to be sure. A powerful blast has left nothing behind. Or at least that's what you hoped. When you open the bunk room, you learn the truth. The crystal has possessed you, somehow. Those quiet acoustic vibrations were enough for it to spread and start growing inside your body. You knew there was no way out of it, so you did what you had to be done. When you detonated the charges, the explosions consumed you together with the crystal. There, that took me an hour and three minutes. The UEFS Warsaw found nothing more than scrap metal floating in space. They will never learn what really happened. There we are. And that's the last Don't Escape game of Script Welder. Next up will be Don't Escape Four Days in the. Um... Here, I'll show you. Don't Escape Four Days to Survive. That one's a very long game. So I'm, that's definitely going to be chopped up into pieces when I get to it. So, But uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video.
and it's just in time for Halloween. Well, early because I'm gonna send this out sooner than that, but you know. Bye bye.